Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Residents in Rofuedu in the Goma West District of the Central Region are appealing to authorities to construct a health facility to enable them enjoy quality health care. Residents currently access health care from a chemical seller in the community. Goma Brofuidu is a community in the Goma West District in the central region with its inhabitants mostly farmers. The community is, however, without a health facility, a challenge residents want to address. Late in the night, no one be from. I am and as I then I can. I just see a Cheap compounds. I call one and caught one. Yes, I would not quite pump. Sometimes we will quite pump also. Dam, 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 dam. We need a chips compound. Pregnant women and the sick are really at risk. I just said, you call the next town of your con rough road in Penny. Imagine so be what for you, friend, and the mirrors to the door won't put. Tita, you have cars and poison. We can only access health care at the next town. We are really suffering. Oh, it's in my hand. So I'm calling you in the on my health in Ukraine, your bread. The absence of a health facility is a worry to residents, especially pregnant women and the aged. Vehicles hardly ply the road leading to Brofuidu because it is untarred. Roxini Son is a chemical seller in Brofuidu. He is mostly the first port of call for residents who are ill in the community. He's been selling drugs to residents for years. There's no helper. I've really helped residents in this community. Had it not been my chemical shop, it would have been bad. Chief Supino leaders and residents say the establishment of a health facility in the community will help address their health needs. The community does not have a toilet facility. Construction of a toilet facility has stalled since 2003. <laughs> This toilet facility has not been renovated. We call on the authorities to fix it for us. We followed up on the community's requests by engaging the district chief executive of Goma West. If I tell you I have a plan, I will be lying to you. Today, we don't have it as part of our plan, but we are going to look at Brofiro. The thing is that we can't have cheap zone for every single community it might it might be even uh, an unwise decision so when we are taking this decision we also look at other factors we look at the population whether there are some surrounding communities that can also take advantage of the facilities truth be told uh, as an assembly we have not planned a chips uh, zone for we will look at it if if it is something that's worth to do. Residents are hopeful a health facility will be established speedily to enable them enjoy quality health care. Away from the central region, encroachment and security are major challenges confronting healthcare workers at the OEB Health Center in the Tungkatamansu Municipality of the Greater Accra Region. Healthcare workers want the Tungkatamansu Municipal Assembly to intervene in the situation. Health Center was first opened in 2010, but the facility was abandoned after its opening, causing some persons to encroach on the land. In 2012, the facility was reopened for residents to access health care. Despite the reopening of the facility, encroachment on the health center's land is still rampant. They brought um, the excavator to come and dig the foundation. So they dug the foundation somewhere here, were there, and then some people brought police and said, we have entered the alarm. So they came and then stopped the, the work. Behind this wall, you see that there's a long wall over there where we're supposed to bring the wall to this site. But because of the encroachment, the people said we should stop the work. So when we stopped, they quickly mobilized and put up this structure here. And they put 
this war, this short war that we are seeing over there. The land at OEB Health Center has been massively encroached on because the place was abandoned for some time. And at the moment, with the help from our member of parliament, Honorable Nila Yafoteabo, we have been able to fence it, but not without having one or two issues with other developers who have also encroached on her land. That is not the only challenge. The water at the health center is salty, causing most equipment at the facility to rust. The situation has affected the building, causing it to deteriorate. We have problems with uh, water. It's not portable. We ha it has our minerals, which rust our instruments and other things. And because of that, you know, in some cases that let's say suturing comes when you need to use an instrument, everything will be rusty, so you cannot use it. Aside this problem, healthcare workers are also concerned about security at the facility. The OEB Health Center has no security personnel at post. As a result, theft is rampant. Some of the staff, when they come during afternoon shifts or in the night, even some people come and wake the PA up at dawn. How would you know this person coming is a true client or someone who is coming to attack? So if we get a security man available, it will be very helpful. Healthcare workers want challenges at the facility addressed. We sought answers from the municipal chief executive of Tung Katamanso. We have been able to get the site plan of the place and now we are in possession of the land documents and we are trying also to fence the place for them, to enable them to secure their land. So we are working towards okay. that direction. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Stagana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU.